Welcome back, everybody. I got we we found him, <laughs> Romeo. Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? We were asking ourselves, but he's back now, and we're ready to go. We're both loaded up. We're here to bring you the second set of semifinals. These are best of fives. We're all here for the one thousand dollar Kotu.org one v one tourney, sponsored by Dr. Vox Rex Anvelte. Big thanks to Dr. Vox. Made it all possible. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Dr. Vox. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, right? Uh, okay, so that's his, that's his shield down there. You can you can see there. He's got his he's got a he's got a family shield. That's pretty sweet. Got to get me one of those. Um, so we are about to bring you uh, the contest in the lower bracket between OMG Pop and Love Nest, and this is exciting. We had the number two seed, uh, who we watched earlier, send Simon away. Right? We watched those great games on Samoski. Off you go, Simon. OMG Pop with just the most aggressive truck placement we've ever seen from Okave. So he's going. He's representing Canada, and he's going up against Love Nest, who is from Germany, my my country. This is where I'm living. I'm coming at you from Berlin. Uh, Romeo's still chewing. I can see you. Have to, you can go like off camera and take a bite, and then keep chewing. How you doing, buddy? You all right? Holding up? Doing good. I'm excited for this matchup. OMG Pop and Love Nest. It should be a great game. OMG Pop just, just I'll just come out and say it, destroyed Aimstrong in the first, <laughs> in the quarterfinals. So this should, uh, this should, this is an intimidating matchup for Love Nest, I think. I, uh, I'm really excited to watch it. Okay, well, let's do just that. Come on in, Gabe Fight fans. Sunday Night Fights is live and in effect. Welcome to the Yoink Memorial Arena. Let's go in there and get this thing rolling. Okay. Uh, we got to do a countdown and sync up old school style, Romeo. That's true. All right. Follow me, man. We're going to unpause in three, two, one. Unpause. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they are off. Perfect. Fighting out of there, the, we're we're on Colony Firma Summer. Similarly, they both wound up with the same map, so we know that this is everybody's favorite map. Then, since this was the last one to be vetoed. All right, in the in the west of Colony Firma, wearing the red trunks, playing Germany and representing Germany, it is the hope of Deutschland. Our buddy, the blonde carrot eating wonder, loved it. <laughs> And his opponent in the blue, playing from Canada. He's sporting the, the blue trunks and rocking the USF. It's our number two seed and NA champion of Alienware Arena. OMG! Pop! Pop! <laughs> We're getting good at this. Everybody's loosening up. I cracked a beer open. I'm, uh, I'm starting to feel good. We're, we're almost at midnight, uh, CET. Here comes Love's Nest truck. Have I cast a single Love Nest game yet? Did we cast one today? Uh, no, I managed to catch him a couple times yesterday, though. Or once, I think. I think this is my first one. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> it's all becoming a blur. But, uh, yeah, nice to see German player. I feel, I wish, I need, if I had a carrot, I would eat one now right in the mic and make a huge crunching sound. Followers of his stream will know what I'm talking about. USF and Okave. We've seen more of this than we have Soviets in Okave, which is interesting. Kubelwagen is out. Out in a boot, as the Canadians would say. That's my Canadian dig. Hey, Romeo, do you know how to spell Canada? <laughs> yes, I know how to spell Canada. Just say, just say like, uh, no, how? So, Romeo, do you know how to spell Canada? How do you spell Canada, Andy Politifunk? C A N A D A. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I get it. He's he's out and about with the cubalogging, eh? 
All right, so we're fighting. It's get guys. This is cool. Uh, we're back to what we're comfortable with. Old school replays. You guys aren't going to miss any of the action. We've got all the games. We're ready to show you the complete series. We're starting it off zero zero. It's a best of five. Otherwise phrased as a race to three. We're seeing some pretty classic play here at the cutoff. Stern Pioneers uh, with SWS truck push support going straight for that. Keeping that uh, U.S. Forces player from getting that fuel in early and delaying the early M20. Now, OMG Pop. Man, we haven't seen a single canister shot, have we? It's always utility car, and then they elected to go elsewhere. I mean, they went for, you know, like AA half track, and we've seen, um, you know, we've seen a lot of Scots, which have been pretty strong. Yeah, and like I, uh, like you said before, you made your prediction that uh, canister shot was going to be a big deal off the squad wipes. I, my prediction was airborne. Really, in reality, it's been kind of all over the place. I've actually seen a lot of armor company at this tournament, so uh, no canister shots for me yet. And uh, it could happen this game, though. We do see a recon commander pick. Hey, all right. There he is, and we're looking for this eight Greyhound to come on out. Someone get us out of here! Ooh, a squad annihilated. Nicely played by Loveness. It's that's like first blood. You know, I need a little overlay, a little first blood overlay. That's exactly what it's like. That would be that would be so good. <laughs> we'll, we'll, like should add some kind we'll of like announcer, going. like first blood kind of thing. Yep, first blood. <laughs> oh, and man, Loveness just sends those rear echelon packing as well. Let's see, what's left for OMG Pop on the field? He's going to garrison these rifles, rifles into the house. I like these uh, thatch roofs that they have on these uh, Russian houses. They're pretty cool. And I love the animations when the houses collapse. I think it's so well done. I like the little ladder that's sitting on the house roof on <laughs> that house uh, outside the left base. Outside the left base? Which one? Oh, that little, yeah, that little ladder. Okay, I got you. <laughs> okay, uh, OMG Pop on the back foot in the, um, in the early game. Love Nest seems to be come out with guns blazing. He's got yeah, him cut is, off. This is totally typical. You always see this when U.S., especially in the East base on the, uh, with that cutoff. Koopa Wagon, SWS, Stern Pioneers head straight there. Very little U.S. forces can do to push that away. That's why... I, oh, no! Oh, nice dodge oh, with that grenade. Man, I zoomed away just as the grenade was thrown. So OMG Pop managed to sidestep it. Yeah, gets away just in time, and uh, yeah, U.S. forces really struggles here if they don't like throw up an early fighting position or some some sort of way of defending against that. But we do see nice harassment by those riflemen. Loveness still hasn't taken his fuel up there in the north, and the lieutenant is on the field, and a 50 cal is getting produced. And what do you think of the the Jaeger light infantry call in? They sort of surprised that rifle squad by popping right out of the house right next to him. Yeah. Uh, that does mean scavenge has been selected by Love Nest. We have not seen a lot of that, mostly fortifications doctrine. So Love Nest is going to kind of. Uh, there's some good features in that uh, commander, but ultimately, I, I don't think it's that strong by comparison to what we've seen. Oh, those are big words to say when a semifinalist in this tournament has just selected the the commander. I would bow down with their decisions and 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 figure they know much better than I do. Of course, uh, uh, I'm just saying. I'm sure Lubness knows what he's doing. You know what I'm talking about? I wonder if we'll see an Austin come out because that's a very powerful anti-infantry unit. I'm wondering the exact same thing. The Austin is a hundred fuel. It's a massive investment for Over Commando West. Huge setback for Tech. So you have to you have to really make a big difference in the field with that unit for it to be worthwhile. All right, we see these light uh, infantry guys. They've got some sick camos too. They have to retreat. But you can see they've got really nice infantry uniforms. You know, a lot of people campaign for infantry skins in this game. What's your opinion on that, uh, Romeo? I think that would be awesome. Yeah. You know, they, I they mean, release Relic is always... Go With ahead. the patch, there was that decal slot, and we were all so curious. And then they yeah, like exactly. they reverted it. You know, they hot fixed it out. So I guess maybe something's coming with custom decals on on vehicles, but we don't know what it is yet. And and they didn't mean to even reveal that it was coming because they they reverted it. But or I would love they? custom decals. <laughs> or did what? Is it still in the game? No, I just mean. Or did they mean to? Was it really an accident? Or or a little <laughs> teaser? Us. 
true. That exactly. would be some 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 brilliant marketing, a little a little tease. But I think custom decals would be super cool. I mean, what if the winner of this event could tote some unique uh, de decal that only he had in game? I think that would be so awesome. That would be, especially yeah, especially if I could you know have little little Romeo uniforms running around on my guys, <laughs> exclusive just, to me. You know, any of these aesthetic. Uh, customizations I'm all for you know I would love to spend a couple dollars here or there on aesthetic stuff I love the skins and I would yeah, love I further unit customization via decals or something like that I'm all for that I think that's a great way to monetize this without messing yeah. with balance at all you know these commanders have caused it's been so difficult so aesthetic customizations I'm all for it man this map is just chaos Everything I know, they're all over the place. Else. There are Pumas on the field. He's he's definitely the strongest unit at the moment. There is absolutely nothing that he can even scratch him. Well, I guess the small arms fire from this uh, from this 50 cal is actually doing a bit of damage. Yeah, don't underestimate the penetration of that 50 cal. I can, I've killed Pumas before. I killed a Puma two days ago with a 50 cal. <laughs> oh, man. Loveness has had enough of being harassed from that house, from OMG Pop. He, he, he must know from all the broadcasts that we've done how effectively OMG Pop can use houses. And he drives his next uh, SWS truck right into it. And look how much damage he's doing to the truck. He's being very, uh, to the house, he's being very successful in damaging this house. He wants that damn thing to collapse. And man, if this 50 cal ain't careful, he's gonna go down with it. He does get out in the nick of time, picks up a, a star of vet right before the house collapses. He, he really wanted to take out that SWS using just a 50 cal. He got it to half. That's respe respectable, but he just didn't have enough time. That house is so flimsy. Now, game one on Kolodny Pharma Summer uh, between our competitors in the top bracket, Jeslin and Cruzy, was just fantastic. And I'm starting to get that feeling. It's like I've been re rejuvenated. Not only have I eaten something for dinner, but I see that these players are microing all over the map. They're capping and they're harassing like crazy. And this is what we want to see from top level Company of Heroes 2 action. Oh, full rifle squad just went down in the north. Uh, I don't think OMG Pop was watching it. Loses it to That's that not what we want to see. <laughs> and and uh, Pop is losing to the strategy. He beat Aimstrong with here and mechanized regiment straight into a Puma. Ooh, this rear echelon. Difficult retreat and Love Nest. Nice micro to carry on the chase. A lot of players don't exploit opportunities like this, and they just back off and don't chase as far as they should. But wow, man, I, I really thought he'd get it, but he doesn't get it. He's not giving up yet. <laughs> You're kidding me. Now it's time to stop. Uh, a lot of capping going on all over the place. AA half-track on the field now, going to be firing at those Jaegers. They need to get out of that church now. They just escaped. The enemy is reduced to 300. Interesting that um, OMG Pop elects not to cap that point right in front of his base. He's, he's working on the fuel, but even if he gets that flag down and up, and it takes a long time being a, a fuel point, uh, it won't be connected. So he's going to have to send some other units over there. I'm pretty surprised that OMG Pop has not purchased an M20 utility car. Those anti-tank mines that it lays are so crucial in uh, denying the Puma its ability to chase and be super aggressive. So, yeah, AA. Interesting. You know, I, I watched a lot of ladder games right before this tournament. I never saw these builds from USF. It was always M20 or M8. Yeah, OMG Pop is definitely deviating from the, the standard stuff. I definitely could see a half track against Austair, but against uh, against a Puma opening, I don't know how he's gonna make it work. Now Love Ness has a Shrek up folk squad that really got split up. I was wondering where the rest of the squad was. Here they come finally. OMG Pop's in the Russian Orthodox Church. He's, he's bookmarking it for an MG crew. The AA half tracks getting in the action. Let's see if a Faust can go in. The AA destroys the cover, and wow, they got they get suppressed, and the the Shrek up squad is gonna have to leave. And you know the Racket and Refer can't find a good position. He's finally set up again. Uh, Pop exploiting the 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 shot blocking of the church um, to hide his anti aircraft half track, and doing a bit of capping in the south with a very understrength squad. You should be careful with that. 
50 cal picks up a pivot. These rifles are just cowering behind the hedge as the Puma lays in heavy rounds against them. Those Jaegers are tearing that lieutenant to shreds. He, has to, he, he almost got wiped. That that uh, that sniper crit chance that they have has a chance of, I think it's 75% chance if they're below X amount of health or something to just instantly kill a model. So you can just suddenly see uh, squad members just dropping like flies. Catches you really off guard. All right, well, uh, OMG Pop sends his, his half-track south, and Loveness counters by sending his Puma south. Okay, now we see uh, the, the Greyhound yep, come on the field. On the so. field, it looks like OMG Pop's really going to bust out the big guns. Let's, he's obviously bringing it in for the power at, of canister round. At 13 minutes, we see our first Greyhound. And we will be watching carefully for this bad boy, the M2 canister shot, which is notorious for wiping entire squads. Let's see when he'll get his first opportunity. I, why doesn't he? I get. Does he not know about this infantry squad behind the hedge? Probably not. Uh oh, careful, Pop! You can't afford to lose more squads. Your rifles are never going to be able to raise that flag. Get out of there now before you lose them, please. There you go. He catches the Folks Grenadier squad, very clumped. Oh no, here it comes. <laughs> and there's the first squad. <laughs> Whoa, it did, uh, oh. <laughs> it did some crazy graphics. I don't know if you saw that, but there was a log yeah. that went halfway across my screen. And I so, had that on my screen too. All right, some drink sort of bug. out there, drink. You, got, you owe us a shot right there, Love Nest. You owe us a shot. Although, Pop did it to you. I don't know if you have to, dr yeah, drink anyway, just drink. Uh, Pop being very brave with understrength rifles. They're now to one man now. Oh, no. come on, Pop. It's not worth it. The flag's not worth it. Oh, uh, there's the sniper crit from the Jaegers. Yeah, well, you can, Pop can only blame himself. He left that squad there way too long. Uh, Love Nest really off. likes c controlling this road. He's been um, switching the Puma back and forth from the south to the middle. Um, that, that road is covered by this squad. There are a lot of squads kind of like just behind hedgerows that are right next to each other but don't know about each other. Here's here's a situation, an example of that. It's kind of reminiscent of COH1 almost, the, the Puma versus M8 matchup, but it's so much more lopsided in COH2 where the M8 main gun can't even really scratch the Puma, but the Puma smashes the M8 so, so hard. Wow, the Puma's shooting right through those hedges at this uh, MG crew. I don't even know how he has line of sight on it. He doesn't, he's using attack ground. Oh, wow, that's good stuff. That's really pro stuff. It's so hard amidst microing everything else, like the active battles, to also put pressure on via these um, inactive battles where you don't even know necessarily where the opponent is. It's just attack ground through a hedgerow and kill some guys. What's most impressive is that he actually got one, considering the coaxial machine gun can't even fire when you're using attack ground. All right, I'm keeping an eye on the canister shot up this M8. It's reloaded. Uh, Pop has plenty of ammo. That's true. Uh, recon commander, generally, it's very munitions efficient because you, uh, with the 7 command point call-in, which he has access to now, uh, you get weapons for free. You don't have to spend any munitions on upgrades. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, he doesn't get the squad. He does not get the squad. That's a big break for Love Nest. Love Nest is able to retain the Shrek and run away. He's got a Panzer II looks on the field now. And yeah, OMG Pop wanted that whole squad wipe, but did not get it. Really? He, he, he needs them. He needs them with his map control situation, otherwise he'll never be able to expand. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes another one. He might try and go for it on retreat. No, not chasing. I think he could have got that. Oh well. Worrying about the center, the Maxim in the church, the whole church is about to fall. It's been really beaten up. Yeah, you should be very careful with this AA half track. That looks and Puma combo could be deadly. Did I say Maxim? I meant 50 cal. Uh, uh, it's just going to be shot out of the church. The church stands, but the MG falls. 
Pop's got his rifles running all over the place. Oh no, his Greyhound just went right into range of the Sparrow Panzer headquarters. What was he thinking? Ouch, that's a costly mistake. That Greyhound will fall. And it did do those two big canister shots, but uh, when there's a break in the action, we can go and look at its efficiency. The Lux is going to back out of this fight into the cover of his headquarters. So now we can look briefly at the units and see how the M8 did. Oh, that's a wrong bunch of stats. I got to select. Uh, pop first and then look. Nope, I still can't get it. All right. Well, I give up. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't think it paid for itself. Maybe it did. It, it was. It definitely didn't have any sort of uh, great utility. Now the AA sack is about to fall. He's he's surrounded by light axis vehicles. Yeah. The AA no falls. Chance. Wow. Pop just. Oh, loses also the lieutenant in the church as it collapses. Timber! And that's GG. Ouch. So, that did it. A decisive early game. Love Nest wins game one in 18 minutes. Roll our Axis holiday card. All right, everybody. Pretty impressive German play from our German player, Love Nest. Uh, crack a carrot. Uh, he's he's leading against the number two seed in this tournament, the Canadian OMG Pop. Uh, stick with us, everybody. We'll be right back after a quick break as we load up game number two. See you in a second. 